in an electromagnetic wave traveling west, the B field oscillates up and down vertically and has a frequency of 93 kilohertz and an RMS strength of 7.15 times 10 to the minus 19 Teslas. Assume that the wave travels in free space. Okay, and part A says, what is the frequency of the electric field? Okay, so let's start with part A. Okay, and we have an electromagnetic wave. And it says that we're going to describe the um, B field. And the B field that we drew before was going in and out of the board. So let's draw the whole thing again. Here was our E field going up, going down, going up and down. And the B field was coming in and out of the board. E going up, B like that. So the first thing they tell us is the B field oscillates with a frequency of 93 kilohertz. So if the B field is oscillating at 93 kilohertz, what do you think the frequency of the electric field is? What do you think? It's got to be the same, right? I mean, look at the picture. E is going up and down at exactly the same rate as the B is going. So this has to be 93 kilohertz as well. All right, let's try it. 93, let's see if it'll take a KHZ for our kilohertz. And in fact, it does, and it says we are correct. All right, part B says, what is the RMS strength of the electric field? And what they gave us was the strength of the B field, RMS, and they told us it was 7.15 times 10 to the minus nine, Tesla. And so now we're looking for E RMS. Hmm. Well, we're not really sure how E relates to B yet. But if we push forward a little bit in the discussion, there is a very nice and simple relationship between E and B. And let me Pull it up here, and this is going to be a little bit ahead of ourselves, but we'll get back to it in a second. What we can say is the following. The energy in the E field is in fact equal to the energy in the B field. And those things relate to each other by the speed of light. So what is the electric field? It's equal to C, the speed of light, times the B field. Okay? So E R M S is just equal to C times B R M S. So if I take this value of B and I multiply it by C, 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second, we're going to get the right answer. Okay, and if somebody wants to try that in your calculator, tell me what you get. Should be about, what's that? 3 times 7 is 21, and then we've got 3 of those 15s, which is a 0.45, and then we've got a 10 to the minus 1. So I'm going to say this thing is 2.145, uh, and it's the value of electric field, which is, of course, volts per meter.